Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to study multiplication as scaling or resizing process. Look at this stick here that I have. Let's say that I want to multiply it times 4. 4 times this stick would make the stick longer, 4 times as long as it used to be, okay? And let's say I want to multiply it by 2 thirds. Okay, 2 thirds times this stick will mean 2 thirds of the stick. It means that I would divide it into 3 parts and take 2 of those parts, okay? Divide it into 3 parts and take 2 of those parts. That is 2 thirds times the stick. I am scaling the stick, okay? But it becomes shorter because I only take 2 thirds of it. Similarly, one-third of the stick would be, you know, I would chop it and just take one-third of it. That is my result. The stick gets shorter when I multiply it by one-third. Now, is there any number that if I multiply by this number times the stick, it will stay the same? Obviously, the answer would be one, right? One times the stick is the stick itself. It does not change its length. If I have a number that is more than one, such as two, or 15, then the stick will get longer, right? If I have a number that is less than 1, like 1 third or 2 thirds, then the resulting stick will be shorter than the original stick. Here's 3 fourths of the stick. The same principle applies. I would, in my mind, find 1 fourth of the stick and then take 3 of those, or this much, okay? That's 3 fourths of the stick. And then when I have one and three-fourths of the stick, then I take the stick once and the three-fourths of the stick and put those end to end, put those together. So here, this number makes the stick longer, as you notice, know right? And this number is more than one. We can use this now to compare some expressions without actually calculating anything. Here's a simple one. One-fourth times 78. And then 78. Which one is more? You don't have to calculate 1 fourth times 78 at all. We will know automatically that if you take 1 fourth of 78, it's a smaller part. It's less than 78. Think of scaling a stick. Okay? 1 fourth of a stick that is 78 centimeters long. It is just gonna be way shorter. 2 thirds times 97. 9 tenths times 97. You can think of scaling or resizing a stick. If your stick is 97 centimeters long, and then you multiply that by two thirds, you get two thirds of that stick. And then nine tenths of the same stick, which will be longer part, this or this. Now, nine tenths as a fraction is much bigger than two thirds. I hope you can see that. So therefore, this will be a longer stick. 6 times 2 thirds, 1 sixth times 2 thirds. The resizing idea works here too, because if this is 1 third of a meter, 1 third of a meter, you can still think of the resizing, okay? 1 third times 1 third of a meter will be shorter than the 1 third of a meter. And 1 sixth times 2 thirds could be 1 sixth times 2 thirds of a meter, or 1 sixth of two-thirds of a meter. It will be shorter than two-thirds of a meter. This one will be more than two-thirds of a meter. Your two-thirds of a meter gets multiplied six times, six times longer. So this is, of course, more. Now here's a decimal times two-thirds. Maybe you might say that, hey, you can't multiply fractions and decimals, but sure you can. You can think of a stick that is two-thirds of a meter long, and then that gets multiplied 1.2 times, okay? It gets longer than the original stick then. In one of these, we need to switch the order. For example, if I think of this as 0 0.6 times 2 thirds, and here 1.2 times 2 thirds, then this will be more. You can see this more. Because taking 1.2 times a stick that is 2 thirds of a meter results in a stick that is longer than 2 thirds. Whereas taking 0 0.6 times 2 thirds of a meter results in a shorter stick than two-thirds of a meter. Here we have fraction multiplications on both sides, and uh, there's the two-thirds on both, so that's how we will be able to compare these. If I switch this and write it as 
2 7th times 2 thirds. Then we compare this and this, okay? You can think of your stick of 2 thirds of a meter, 2 thirds of a meter. It gets multiplied so that it is 4 fifths of the stick or 2 sevenths of the same stick. And, I hope you can see, 2 sevenths is a smaller fraction than 4 fifths. So therefore this one is more. Over here, we will be solving similar problems, but now with a visual model for the fraction. 1 half times 2 thirds. Think of this multiplication sign here as of. 1 half of 2 thirds. If you have this much pizza left and take half of it, how much will it be? The fraction will be, of course, just one third. This one slice is half of it, so the answer is one third. Here, this is a little bit more complex. Four fifths times this fraction here, which is ten fourteenths. Okay, think of it as a chocolate bar that has ten pieces left. So, how much would be four fifths of those ten pieces? Think of this as of. Okay, if you have ten pieces, you can divide them into five equal groups, five parts. And find one-fifth of the ten pieces would be two pieces. These two pieces would be one-fifth. And so take four times that to get the four-fifths. So two pieces, two pieces, two pieces, and two pieces, eight pieces. So eight pieces. And each one of these pieces is a fourteenth part. Here we take two-thirds of this quantity, this much pizza. And... Um, to find two-thirds of it, I will first find one-third of it and then take double that. Okay, let me divide this pizza in a similar way, into fifths. Now I have six slices. So one-third of the six slices would be two slices. That's one-third part of it was left, right? And then double that would be four slices. So four fifths. Take one and a half times that fraction. That's two thirds. One and a half times two thirds. Okay, I'll take it once and then I'll take half of it and add. I'll take it once, it's right there, two thirds. I'll take half of it, half of what's left here, half of this fraction is one third. Then I add two thirds and one third. So I get one. You can, of course, solve each one of these using regular fraction multiplication. But in this lesson, we want to think of the of, think of the resizing or scaling of the fraction. A picture on Joe's computer measures 900 pixels by 1200 pixels, and he wants to scale it, resize it by two thirds, so that it's the two thirds of the size, okay? Meaning that the length and the height both are reduced to two thirds of the length and height. So what is the new image size? Of course, all the computer programs do this for you automatically. You don't have to actually tell them the numbers. But we're going to be like the computer now and calculate. We will need to take two-thirds times this number. Scaling it by two-thirds means that we multiply by the two-thirds, okay? Multiplying does the trick of resizing. This is the calculation we will do. Two-thirds times 900. Now, I like to do it this way. I'll think of it as of. 2 thirds of 900. Since 900 is such an easy number to divide by 3, I'll think first of 1 third of 900. How much is that? Well, that's 300 pixels. Then just take double that to get 2 thirds of it. So 300 and double that is 600. 600 pixels this way. And then the other calculation we do is we multiply 2 thirds times 1200 pixels. Again, I'll find first one-third of 1,200. That's 400 pixels. Double that, 800 pixels. So the new image is 600 by 800 pixels. And another time when we often need this resizing idea with fractions, especially, is in recipes. If you have a recipe, it has some fractional amounts there, or maybe they are whole numbers, either way. But you want to make one and a half times that recipe. So you need to use multiplication. Take this number and multiply all these by one and a half. Okay? Or if you want to make three-fourths of the recipe, then you again multiply three-fourths times each one of these amounts. Let's use this space for the calculations. We will basically use just fraction multiplication. One and a half times that. 
one and a half times two and a half. Now those are mixed numbers, I need to change them to fractions first. So I will get three halves times five halves and then use the regular rule for fraction multiplication. Multiply the top numbers, multiply the bottom numbers. Okay, and now we have our answer, but I'll change it to a mixed number here. 4 goes to 15 three times, and then there's 3 fourths. So this here will be changed to 3 and 3 fourths cups of flour. Now honey, 1 and a half times half. In a similar way, I need to change this to a fraction first. So it is going to be 3 halves times 1 half. And then multiply the top numbers and multiply the bottom numbers. 3 fourths. So this will be 3 fourths of a cup of honey. And then 1 and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. So I need to take 1 and a half times 1 and a half. Change both to fractions first again. 3 halves times 3 halves and then we get 9 fourths. And then this into a mixed number. 9 fourths would make 2 and 1 fourth. Okay. So instead of this we will need to use 2 and 1 fourth teaspoons of cinnamon. Alright, all done. I hope this was helpful.